the opening chorus, key is E minor, a very dark E minor. The chorale is in G major. So we have a modal contrast. Uh, the positive chorale from the altar and then the morning chorus uh, on the uh, gallery. So this kind of tension uh, at the beginning of uh, the piece with the major mode chorale uh, on top of it is not resolved until Easter because three days later, you know, the cantata with trumpets in D major or C major would present the kind of reference that Bach builds into the opening chorus in a suggestive way. Uh, and if you know what Bach's intention was, uh, then I think you can enjoy the piece much more. And also, if you think of the tonality, it's not uh, uh, very difficult to understand. If you have two modes, major and minor mode, combined in one piece, the piece ends in C minor. So it moves from the sharp keys to the flat keys, and in between we have all kinds of keys. It's a meandering through uh, a world of emotions uh, because what we hear in the St. Matthew Passion are expressions of pain and suffering, of sadness, but also of love and then of rage, of meanness and intrigue. It's a wide variety of musical expressions that Bach, the composer, is trying to translate into the appropriate musical language so that it is reaching uh, not just the heads of the people, but the hearts of the people. And that makes music so special. No preacher can achieve in any sermon, if it's rhetorical as brilliant as uh, it can be, then what the musician can achieve by making music that immediately speaks to the heart.